Hello everybody, my name's James Old. This is Formula Fast in Milton Keynes. It's January, that must mean it's time for British Rental Car Championship 2017. Here's the Formula Fast car track and this is where the BRKC takes place. So, what is the British Rental Car Championship? Well, we have 100 drivers from the UK and abroad, 100 of the best indoor kart racers. They're going to be battling over four heats. Semi-final if they make it and if they really are doing well into the grand final. The first place receives £1,000 and a free entry into the World Championship. Free entries into the World Championship for second and third and also very nice posh trophies for all three. Okay, so when the drivers have been called for their heats, they'll be coming downstairs, heading down this narrow corridor into the pit lane. It's the regular Sodi carts, which are de rigueur in rental cart racing these days. They'll be making the draw here. They'll be picking a cart number out of a bag, and that will be the cart they'll be racing that heat. However, due to the uh, parity rules that are there, they won't be able to pick the same cart twice. Okay, so these are the carts that are going to be used for the British Rental Car Championship, and uh, Formula Fast are renowned for creating cart parity. They go to great extent. Friday night, Saturday night, the carts are rechecked, everything test driven around the track, and anyone with any complaints, immediately there's someone checking that cart out. Really, there's no way you can go to find a closer run of carts. So much so, in fact, that uh, in the past we've had people trying to judge which cart they want for the final, and they've not been able to pick one. Here in the pit lane, the drivers will be making pit stops during all of the races. The laser pit stop system means that there's no need for a pit speed limit or anything like that. Drivers come in and they make a stop at the first stop, they make a stop at the second stop, and out. Now for those who will be watching live on the internet, make sure you pay particular attention in rounds two and three of the heat races because that will be run on the tournament layout and none of the drivers will either have seen it before, know where it goes, or had any chance to practice at all. So you may find a real turnaround in fortunes in those two groups. So all in all, everything has been done that's really possible to make this the most exciting and fairest rental car system, not only in the country, but potentially in the world. Okay, now this is a very special place for me. This is where I'm going to be commentating from. It certainly brings back some memories. Uh, I've been commentating on the races here, the British Rental Car Championship, ever since they began. And this is now the fourth time I've been here at Formula Fast. This is where I'll be seated. My co-commentator, Amar Brulsmith, he'll be up here as well. And we'll be having various guests in during the event. It uh, certainly brings back some memories looking out of here. The windows have changed slightly over time but uh, certainly I can see all the track and even right now I'm seeing in my mind's eye some of the great racing we've had during the British Rental Car Championships recent editions. However, with the driver lineup being what it is for this year, it's going to be even more spectacular I think and uh, we're going to have a little look at who we think are going to be the top ones right now. Some fantastic driving has taken place at the British Rental Car Championship. The breakdown of drivers is really quite something from the uh, world of indoor karting. Not only have we got some top British drivers, we've got a lot of regulars in the various national championships from Holland and Belgium and Germany and Poland and various other countries, Spain well represented too. Uh, we've got a little top three maybe of, of uh, various foreign and British drivers and people we're going to keep an eye on. First of all, I want to open with some of the visitors. Ruben Bootens. What can we say about Ruben Bootens? There have been three editions so far of the British Rental Car Championship here at Formula Fast. He has won all three. He has won all three. This is the fourth. He's going to be going for four. So unlikely, but that's what we said last year. It was so unlikely for him to win again. So we'll see what he can do. He, of course, uh, from here went, again, went away and won his national championship, the Dutch championship, yet again. He's been very strong in that one. Uh, and he was, of course, in the world championships as he is every year. This time he was second. He can win a lot at uh, national level against the same people he's raced against in the World Championship, but it just doesn't quite happen for him at the World Championship. Second last year for Ruben Bruntens. A uh, formidable competitor. We can expect him to really, really show us some form around here. We've also got Matthias Gruten. Matthias Gruten is a double World Championship, uh, world Champion in indoor karting, and he was champion in 2008 and 2015. Uh, Matthias is one of the real experts. He can turn out and race any track. I've competed against him before. Maybe that's the wrong way of putting it. I've competed in the same event as him before. He's very, very, very good indeed. No mistakes from Matthias. Uh, also, Stefan Verhofster. Stefan Verhofster, 
fairly young driver, but really coming on strong, and he was very, very strong last year. We've seen him uh, second and third in the British Randall Kart Championship. Uh, so both times he's been here, very, very strong competitor, Stefan Verhofster, the uh, Belgian driver. Okay, of the British drivers, who are gonna be the ones handling the, uh, the competition to these foreign boys? Well, really, Mention has to go, potentially the top Brit, as uh, being Lewis Manley. Lewis Manley, of course, was a regular here at Formula Fast, unknown to us before the British Rental Car Championship came here. He appeared, a bit of a wild card entry, a bit of a, uh, you know, local favourite, and lo and behold, he turned into a real star. That's uh, back in 2014 when it was first here. Since then, Lewis Manley has grown in confidence, grown in stature. He's so much more competitive on the track, and even then he was very competitive. Last year, of course, he was, uh, sorry, he was second in the championship. Really, really strong showing from Lewis Manley. And uh, we can expect him potentially to actually win this thing. If there's a British winner, maybe look no further than Lewis Manley. However, Ed White is going to pr provide some strong competition. Ed White, um, he's actually the winningest driver in the races that the British Rental Car Championship has been here. Bear in mind that the drivers compete in four heat races, a semi-final and the final, should they get that far. And Ed White, in the years that he's been here, so the last three years, he's managed ten wins. That's a really, really strong showing. So look out for Ed White in the races. He's another potential uh, British champion of the British Championships. Uh, of course, who could forget Sean Briley helping out with the commentary last year. He was uh, fantastic in uh, the sport car championships in the USA and last year he managed fifth in the final. So look out for Sean Briley, uh, a driver now who's been around for a few years, gets stronger every time and is super strong indeed, so Sean Briley. So other drivers of note, well Regis Gosland, a very very strong driver from Belgium, he races for Ford in the World Rally Cross and a really really strong competitor indeed. He's uh, really moved on from karts and has been racing cars for a couple of years now but it has to be said, he loves coming back to race in the uh, rental car championships that he knows so well. He's been here uh, a couple of years now and each time put on a really good show. Last time, a little bit of controversy in the final, saw him eliminating himself, retiring from the event. And then in the world championships, he was one of the potential winners, another controversial uh, finish there. So look out for fireworks and Regis Ghostland. He's got a lot to prove, we know he can do it, and he's really gonna be out there giving it all. Matt Barsh, Matt Barsh, gosh what can we say about him, he has come uh, from uh, the Polish Championships, he's been Vice Champion there, so he's been second in their championship, and uh, he, he was in the final, the two occasions he's been here, uh, fourth in 2016, so Matt Barsh, very very strong competitor from Europe. Finally, Annalene Booten as well, former Ladies World Champion. Annalene, she uh, is the sister of Ruben Booten's and believe me, there's no love lost on the track between those two. Seemingly great friends off the track, it's absolutely gloves off in the, uh, in the family feud that envelops when they hit the track. No less than uh, back in 2014, when Annalene Booten's qualified on the pole, looked like she had the final wrapped up and then along came brother and snatched the whole championship away from her. So you can imagine that one being a fairly quiet drive back to Holland, but we'll see what Annalene Booten's can do this time around, we'll be wishing her well. Right, we also have a number of drivers that we're going to be keeping an eye on, those who've never raced in the British Rental Car Championship before. It's always exciting to see people come out of nowhere, so to speak, ones who we haven't really seen in other editions of the uh, BRKC. Uh, maybe they're new to uh, rental karting, you know, they race other forms of karts. We're going to have a little, uh, little think about these now, but three stand out, really, for me. First of all, Paul Ozan. Wow, I remember Paul Ozan racing uh, in 100cc karting way back in the 80s when I was racing that sort of machine. Outdoor tracks. There was no rental kart racing then, certainly not to this kind of standard. Paul then went on into uh, single seaters and, uh, and was doing well in that. Didn't quite make it to the top, but we'll see what he can do this time around. And uh, Chris Danes is another person we're going to be looking at. He's raced a lot of uh, karts. He's been in the Cov Kart Sport Championships, another rental series, but outdoor based. He's uh, been a champion in Rotax Max, he's been a champion in Formula TKM. These are all very fast cars on outdoor tracks. How will he fare indoors? Well, records suggest he should do very well indeed, but we'll see what happens on the weekend.
I've got one more as well I want to talk about. Tom Golding. Tom Golding has uh, has been competing locally. Tom, come on over. Let's have a little chat with you. Tom, how's it going? Are you good? Yeah. Yeah. Are you feeling good. like uh, you could be competitive in this kind of thing? Um, well, I've never done anything like this. Never no. raced indoor, yeah. uh, so it's all new for me. Um, Tell us, tell us a little bit about your history outdoor then, is, uh, is what gives you the credentials, why we'll be looking at you. I've had quite a good year, um, I've won four national championships this year. Fantastic. A &D, yeah. so this should suit me really, because it's all arrive and drive obviously. Great stuff, and you've been racing the other side of Milton Keynes on the outdoor track of yeah, course. Uh, success at uh, the British 24 hour as well wasn't it, was it second place for you yeah, guys? Yeah. yeah, I actually had Chris Daines in the team then. You did. Oh right, yeah, so yeah. this could be interesting couldn't yeah, it, yeah. yeah you versus Chris, it's both right, first yeah. timers, he's very quick indeed, fancy chances. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, um, Tom, the, obviously the switch from outdoor to indoor, uh, you obviously know your way around the rental carts and obviously other types of carts as well. What do you feel could be the trickiest area uh, of this kind of racing for you? Um, well, I, I, I'm not sure how people are going to pass. <laughs> it's all tight and everybody's going to be fast, so uh, I'd say overtakes is going to be the hardest part. And because yeah. the carts are so even and it's, you know, I think quality, everyone's going to be so close on lap time as well. So as long as you get a really good lap in quality, the thing is, is that qualifying does um, is very important actually, it, yeah. but it's, it's a strange sort of thing because we never really have found the races end the way they've qualified. So on the one hand, yes it's quite hard to pass, but people do make it work. Um, however, the strategy is really important, which you don't normally, normally an outdoor race has no strategy does it, it's just get out there and do it. Yeah. Um, whereas the indoor one, because there's you know, a couple of pit stops we made, because of the, the tight nature of its strategy is quite important, it's a lot more like say, um, uh, a Formula One race and a touring car race, I say. You know, if you're in a touring car race, you'd be absolutely flat out trying to get the front. F1 race, you've got other factors to, to play. And uh, and that seems to be the same with the uh, the indoor version of karting. Of course, somebody in the top three here ends up with an entry to the Kart World Championship. If you could win that, that would be fantastic as well. You need to really see some stuff out there. But the um, the strategy, is that something you're looking forward to? Or are you thinking, oh my goodness, I don't know where to start. Yeah, I don't know where to start. <laughs> I need to look into that. Yeah. Um, but I gather that if you're in a battle, you probably want to pit. Um, and you know, if, if you're losing time out there, I'd say pit. That, that's that's yeah. all I can think. But no. I think that's what tends to be the, the attitude. I think people go into the race with a bit of an idea. Because I'm the fastest will start in front. But people go into the race with a bit of an idea, but then they have to think on their feet. The strategy has to be ready to change. And yeah. I think, as you pointed out there, that's exactly what a lot of people are doing. They're looking to pit out of the problem, shall we say. Um, Tom, the uh, championships will be on us before we know it. We wish you well, and we hope to be talking to you up here uh, during the weekend yeah. at some point. Right. And very you. good luck. Have fun. Cheers. Enjoy yourself. And that concludes our driver rundown, everybody. We have mentioned, uh, what, 12 drivers there out of the 100. You can bet your life there'll be a whole lot of other people trying to push their face into these pictures. And finally, here I am on the top step of the podium of the British Rental Car Championship here at Formula Fast. And uh, when the event comes around, whoever's standing in this position at the end of it all is going to be leaving here with a World Championship entry and £1,000 in their back pocket. What a thing to win, and uh, that means these 100 drivers are going to be fighting out as tough as they can. Thank you very much for watching. I'm James Old. This is going to be the British Rental Car Championship. See you on the weekend in January. Keep an eye on the internet and follow us there.